Since committing my life to Jesus at the age of 13, I had a sincere desire to go into the world and tell people about Jesus. Unfortunately, in the years that followed, I had a series of negative and even traumatic outreach and mission trip experiences that were detrimental to my desire to fulfill the Great Commission. By the time we moved to East London in 2008 and our churches started international mission trips, I realized that I preferred staying home when Andre left on ministry trips, as I was afraid to step out and join him due to so many past negative experiences. The enemy used many lies to keep me from stepping out again. I believed that my husband was better off if I was not around when he was going on ministry trips. I was afraid that I would not cope and would be a distraction while Andre wants to change the world. In 2015, the enemy used another incident to bring fear and anxiety with regards to the Great Commission. My husband's passport was stolen at the airport at the end of a 12-day mission trip to Argentina. It was an extremely stressful process to get him back into our home country and I could once again feel how the enemy was trying his best to convince me that these trips were unsafe and that I was better off staying at home. The enemy also wanted me to believe that I should be concerned every time my husband leaves home for a ministry trip. In my previous video, I shared about the beauty of joy. Today, I would love to share about the beauty of redemption, how God can redeem bad experiences and disappointments in our lives and make it beautiful again. God, that He is the God of redemption and that He can create something beautiful from any traumatic event. God used the two months after Andre's passport was stolen to reveal to me that He is greater than negative past experience. He also showed me that many of the ideas and beliefs I had with regards to traveling and ministering with my husband were lies. God wanted me to face my fears and travel with my husband. He desired to use us together as a team. So I decided to join Andre on a ministry trip to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil in December 2015. Two of my biggest fears were that I would get sick on the plane as I battled motion sickness and childhood and that I would not be able to sleep due to a previous battle with insomnia. Just before we left, God gave me the following scripture in Psalm 23 verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. God explained to me that motion sickness and insomnia were my enemies, but that he would prepare a table before me in their presence. A table speaks of feasting, fellowship, food, and fun. And that word gave me tremendous faith that everything was going to be fine, even if I got sick and even if I didn't sleep. This revelation removed all my fears and gave me tremendous faith that God will be with me during this trip. God often redeems negative seasons in our life when we take the risk to trust Him in an area in which we have been disappointed. We must step out again and trust the Lord to take care of our fears. The ministry trip to Rio de Janeiro was an incredible experience. I had to leave my six-year-old son behind with family for two weeks, which was extremely difficult for me. But God used it powerfully to show me that He will take care of my child when I walk in obedience to Him. The most beautiful thing that came from the trip to Rio de Janeiro was a second international trip six months later to Manaus in the north of Brazil. Apart from all the great miracles God had done in people's lives, we had amazing times together as a team. We also met amazing Brazilian people who treated us like royalty. My highlight of the trip was an evening that we taught and ministered on marriage. Many couples were hugging, crying and uniting as one. God took care of every fear and every need I had before 
And during this trip to Manaus, I experienced His presence, His protection and His closeness in a unique way. I had six successful flights. I slept well and came back full of joy, peace and faith. I am so grateful that I dared to join my husband on a ministry trip to the middle of the Amazon jungle. It was an investment in my spiritual and emotional well-being as well as my marriage. God revealed to me through this trip that He can redeem every bad experience and make it beautiful again. After this trip, I could declare with renewed conviction, my Redeemer lives. Psalm 103 verse 4 said that God redeems our life from destruction. I want to encourage you to trust Him, to create something special from past disappointments. He is faithful and He is your Redeemer. The word redemption in secular Greek describes a conqueror releasing prisoners or a master ransoming a slave. In the New Testament, it designates deliverance through Jesus Christ from evil and the penalty of sin. The price paid to purchase that liberation was His shed blood. Jesus paid the price to redeem you from sin. Do you realize that we have all sinned and fall short? of the glory of God according to Romans 3.23. Have you ever asked His forgiveness and allowed Him to redeem you and wash you clean? You can speak to God right now by praying following prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I need a Savior and a Deliverer. I need you to save me from my sin and to set me free from darkness. Forgive me all my sin and give me a new heart. Thank you for dying in my place on the cross and for taking all my sin upon yourself. I do not deserve it. I deserve eternal damnation, but now I'm eternally grateful. Thank you for your amazing love. Jesus, I make you Lord and King of my life. Transfer me into your kingdom of light. I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God and no longer a spiritual orphan. I pray this in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please join me in the next video as I'm going to share about the beauty of rest. Remember, life is not perfect, but it is beautiful when we see it from God's perspective.